Hey guys, welcome back to my booth. Today we are going to do some cool science experiments using some red cabbage. You must have learned in school about acids and bases, also called as alkalis. To know if a solution is acidic or alkaline, people use something known as an indicator. They come in paper form, known as litmus paper, or a liquid solution. It changes color differently when it meets an acid or an alkali. They are sold at laboratory supply stores, but today I'm going to show you how you can make your own at home from red cabbage. I know it's purple, but it's still called red cabbage, so deal with it. So you take a couple big leaves from the cabbage and put it in a blender. Then add about three glasses of water. Distilled water is preferred at this point, but even tap water will work. At least that is what I'm using. Now blend it together until you end up with some healthy cabbage juice. I'm going to drain it first using a tea strainer. This is going to take a while since I have to get rid of all this sludge. Next, I'll filter it through a piece of cloth to remove any small pieces of cabbage left behind. With this, our universal indicator is now ready. Now we need some solutions to test. The measure of acidity or alkalinity is done in pH values. The pH scale has 14 increments. The lower the number on the pH scale, the more acidic the solution is. And the higher the value, the more alkaline the solution is. And 7 is the neutral zone. Here are 7 commonly available solutions which we are going to test. Lemon juice, vinegar, carbonated lemon soda, water, toothpaste and water solution, baking soda and water solution, and finally bleach. Now I'm going to pour my indicator into the glasses to see what happens. The lemon juice being the most acidic of the lot changes to a bright red color. The vinegar changes to a pink or a less bright red color. The lemon soda changes to pink shade. The water being neutral takes the color of the indicator and becomes purple. The toothpaste and water solution changes to a blue shade which means now we have stepped over to the alkaline zone. The baking soda and water solution turns a bluish green shade. And finally, the bleach being the strongest base of the lot dissolves the purple color completely and retains its own light yellow color. You can see how the indicator has changed color in all the different solutions. This is a very fun and easy experiment you can try at home for almost free and it is also an excellent and safe way to demonstrate the concept of acids and bases to kids. Now, I was also told at school that acids neutralizes alkalis and vice versa. So that means if I mix the solutions at the extreme ends together, they should cancel out each other and I should end up with a purple color. So let's try it. When I mix the lemon juice with the bleach, there is no effect on the color. The bleach is a much stronger base than the lemon juice is an acid. It will require a lot more of juice to neutralize the alkali completely and turn the color back to purple. Next, when I mix the vinegar and baking soda, there is a sudden release of carbon dioxide gas and the whole solution foams and spills over the glass. It is still not completely neutralized, so it is holding on to the pink color, showing that it is still slightly acidic. Finally, when I mix the lemon soda and toothpaste solution, both being a weak acid and a weak base, neutralize each other completely and we get a perfect purple color, same as the water solution. You can also try it out with other solutions to see what you get. And do let me know how it goes in the comments below. Before I go, I'd like to remind you that the selfie drone giveaway is still going on and the winner will be announced very soon. To take part in that giveaway, go and watch that video. The link to it is showing right now at the top right corner of the video or you can check for it in the description below. That's all for today guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button below and share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to my channel for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instructables. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.